Hill. Good morning. Doctor, if I can start with you, you collected more than a thousand stories of near-death experiences from mm -hmm. people all around the world, and you say the consistencies in, the, in those stories help prove scientifically that there is an afterlife. So based on your data, mm -hmm. what is the proof? Well, my research reveals nine lines of evidence about the reality of near-death experiences and their consistent message of an afterlife. Can you give me an example of some of those nine lines of evidence? Well, one good line of evidence is that those that are blind, including blind from birth, can have visual near-death experiences, not as fragments, but as fully visual impressions during their near-death experiences, just like visual impressions during other near-death experiences. And no matter what the age of, of the person, it doesn't matter, the experience is the same, essentially? My research involved a study of young children age five and under, and I found the content of their near-death experiences absolutely identical to older children and adults, suggesting that whether you know about near-death experiences, what your cultural upbringing is, what your awareness of death is, doesn't seem to have any effect on the content of the near-death experience. Yes. One with a hat. Okay, let me come up to you. Hi. I think I'm coming to you. Yeah. How you doing, Lisa? Hi. Okay. Why am I here? Can you relate to a young man that's in spirit? Mm -hmm. Like a brother figure? Right. Yeah? Okay. Because would he happen to be your brother? Yeah, because he keeps saying, I'm your brother, I'm brother, I'm brother. I'm like, okay. You shared a lot, does that make sense? You did a lot together. We did everything together when we were younger. And these are happy memories for him. Now, he wants to say hello to Mom. She's sitting right here. Hello, Mom. And he's just said, Mom, I'm so sorry. <laughs> he loves you very much. He passed very, very quickly. Can you relate to this? And Dad had passed before him, am I right in yes. saying that? Yes. Because he keeps saying, Dad is with me. And he keeps telling me that he was warned, all right? And there was a feel. oh, I've gone all chilly. There was a feeling that he was warned. And he's so sorry. Did he get mixed up in the wrong people? Because yeah, he he's showing me that he was, yeah. it, he placed himself in he danger. Did. Because he was a fool. He should have listened. Because he's going, I should have listened. I should have listened. Can you relate to this? Yes. And I feel there was... A lot of, I don't know whether it was drugs or alcohol, but I feel as though it was a whole thing. Was he a member of the gang? He mixed up in the wrong crowd. Did he get yeah. shot in the head? Yes, he did. Because yeah. I just keep feeling like it was, yeah. I know, I feel here. He was murdered in the drive-by shooting. Half of his head was blown off. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> He's pacing, he's like, oh, and it, it, it's, it's like he's getting really angry. Do you know who Jim is? Oh, God. Who's Jim? Jimmy's, he left right after it happened. He moved away. I'm sorry, Mum. Can I ask you a question? You can ask me whatever you want. Well, I want to know, is he with my daughter? Because she just died, too. Okay. Did your daughter have blonde hair? Yes. Because here she comes. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> she's, a, she's a little one, isn't she? She's just like swan down. Oh, yeah. She <laughs> oh, she's glamorous. Hi. <laughs> and she's smiling and she's radiant. Is the only, And I look up there, and forgive me for ignoring you, but I look up there because she's at the top of the stairs. And she's, she's elegant. She's got this glow about her. She's telling you that she's OK. Has she been gone? Two for two, I don't know whether it's two weeks, two months. About, About two, two months. months. All right, because I keep being shown she's been gone too. She had cancer. But I'm telling you now, she's jumping up and down and telling you she's fine. She was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and she's so funny, and she's happy, and she's fine. She yeah. needs you to know that, okay? So I'm going to leave you with Thank that. Thank you okay? so much. Oh, I think tonight you've got your answers. The Jimmy is the thing. He was at the hospital before we were, yeah. and then he just moved out of town. So we thought he either knew who did it and was afraid, or you know, I I have to be honest. I didn't believe. I didn't believe, but I sat here and I and I hoped for my mom, and 
everything you said, you're 100% on. And I mean, I just, this is a life-changing experience. You've, you've changed all of our lives.